Welcome everybody. So this is the Sakatumi 7 build off. Uh, thank you for everybody who is participating. It's been a lot of fun. I absolutely enjoy this. Uh, there's just a lot going on with this. <laughs> so uh, quite a few of you are having issues with it. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, I understand there's not a lot of people that have access to these. Uh, a few of you I tried to help out. Uh, some of you are obviously still having issues. I'm sorry about that. I didn't really expect a lot of people to have issues with this one. I, I apologize. So what I have here is the AOPEN AX59 Pro. This does have one megabyte of level 2 cache which is really nice for this CPU, especially since the CPU I'm using happens to be, I forgot, I think this is where I put it, yep, this is where I put it. I have AMD K63, it's only running at 400 megahertz, but that will be the one that I'm going to use on it. This one has kind of a combination of dip switches and jumpers. Now the dip switches, fantastic idea. So I can just go through here and browse, all right, set the voltage to where I need it, set the ratio to where I need it. Then over here on the DRAM clock, I can either use the CPU clock or the AGP clock. This one, I believe I have it set up for the CPU clock. Uh, one, two, and one, two. Now uh, the frequency area, the clock, I have it set in a hundred. I might adjust it a little bit here, a little bit there. Right now I think I have it set up to overclock this by 50 megahertz. Now I know this CPU will overclock to 500 megahertz, which is more than enough for this thing. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this in here. Line it up. Somewhere. Get in there. This is actually a CPU I end up rescuing out of a uh, computer that was bound for recycle. So some of the pins are a little tweaked. There we go. Now, there's been some concern out there amongst the digital world, <laughs> the infonet, about thermal paste, thermal paste being required or not required. User preference. However, back in my day, and not quite older than dinosaurs, but it's starting to feel like it. So, I start out with an AMD K6 to 300, and I overclocked it to 66 or 33. It was on old PC chips uh, motherboard. I think it was actually the SIS chipset. I don't think it was a VIA chipset. And uh, never use thermal paste. Didn't even bother with it. And I'm not going to bother with it again either. I just don't really see the need for it on this CPU. Uh, once you hit the thousand or the one gigahertz mark, I recommend it. But these were, for the most part, pretty. Flat. Uh, it's stamped aluminum on top of this ceramic CPU, but for the most part, it's pretty smooth. And the uh, cooler is nice and smooth, too. I could use this one, or I could... I think I'm just going to use this one. Uh, 
And I'm going to have to pull my ram out in order to get it in there, so there is that. I believe this cooler actually came off of a socket 360, so it's a little stiff, but it fits. Now the ram, I'm going with 256 of TC133, just in case I want to overclock it a little further later on. And we're just going to connect that and knot it up and get it out of the way. What's interesting about this board is as the 2-pin for the CPU fan or the 3-pin CPU fan, obviously I got the 3-pin. Now this motherboard was is actually one of the better ones. It is the uh, Via MVP chipset. Uh, this board was released in '98. Uh, don't give me the or I don't remember the exact date, time, and all that jazz. That is the ugliest case I got. <laughs> uh, I could retrofit it, but it's getting gloomy out there and. I'm pushing towards the end of this build off. So that is what we got. Now, after my other computer does this ding, 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 whatever, Windows security. That's a joke. Anyway, back to this. So I was originally going to go with the. MX 464 megabyte, but I was not happy with that card for this particular system. Uh, just not happy with it. Not for this build. So, I kicked it up a notch. I settled for the NVIDIA GeForce 2 Ultra. Small compromise, I guess. <laughs> and it is pushing the boundaries of error correctness. Yes and no. It's more towards the no section on this. But the only reason why I'm going with that is some year 2000. And these systems were right there at the edge of Y2K compliancy. So, that is where I went. And I think this card actually came out in 2001. So, okay, I'll go up a year. So that's what I did. And these things were about... In, the Super Socket 7 came out about 98, 99. So, that's where I'm, my midium, medium is. And that's where I stopped. So I got myself a couple years, high or low, and I went a little higher. And mainly because Force Commander, its highest recommended NVIDIA chip was the GeForce 2 family, according to the back. I could have went with Voodoo 5, I don't know. Don't get me wrong, Voodoo 5 does great in this system, but there's more potential for the Voodoo 5 in another system. And let's be honest, if I kill that Voodoo 5, I'm going to be crying. Crying like a little baby. But and I can't afford to replace that. I mean, I bought that thing clear back in 2004. I picked it up for like a hundred bucks. I, there's no way I can touch it for that anymore. No way. So, that is where the GeForce 2 comes in. And my other favorite game that I enjoyed playing back in the day, Decent Free Space. Great game, great sound. Freaking love it. 
And yeah, this was the original pack that I had back in the day too. Still in mint condition. And the uh, expansion to it. All right, one of my ultimate favorite ones for this system is Quake 2. And we have some extremely loud bass here. Turn down these. Uh, that's too tinny. We need some bass. That's doable. And it might sound a little funky, but you know what? It sounds awesome to me. So, options here, and that's my chair making the uh, noises. I'm not coughing and gagging, so we're okay. On to the video. So, running default OpenGL at 800 by 600. Full screen. 8 bit textures. I don't know, whatever. I'm syncing every frame. Full screen, brightness. I'm going to brighten that up just a hair. <laughs> Get, uh, I'll go down to there. Okay, so that I'm happy with, and yes, there we go. I mean, this is freaking phenomenal here. I did turn out the brightness because obviously it's harder for me to see over here on the capture device while I'm trying to play. See if I can full screen this thing for me. There we go. So I'm on the third level into here. Just playing around here. I can't remember what the heck I'm doing. But <laughs> the ambient light is amazing. Already grabbed the shotgun, and now I'm in the water. Oh yes. I don't need no stinking breather suit. Oh, I'm trying to remember where the heck I need to go. There we go. Take a dead guy shot or um <laughs> ah, you and I'll take your head off too. up there. 
Well, that's activated now. Oh, there you are. you. Does anybody else think that that guy says, who's your mama? I'm just curious. I'm pretty sure that's what they're saying. I know I'm going the wrong way. <sighs> Back to where I need to go. Backtrack here. Go up the stairs. Back through here. Back where the jets are rumbling. Back through here. Wow. one level, well that was level three, so yeah I am quite impressed with this little guy. Um, it 
does look better if the uh, brightness is turned down, but... We'll see here shortly. 